What's good guys, my name is Oleg Nikitin from Russia with Love, you're watching No Limits On Channel and I hope you did enjoy the views of Abkhazia Republic and Sochi City. So let's get to the review of Sony 14mm f1.8 G Master lens. So guys, first of all, let's start off with the kit. Except for the classic box, you get this cap the front cap which you really need because you cannot attach any filters to the front of this lens it has a spherical element and you can only attach the filters from the back the special gel filters as they say and also this um, cap has such mechanism and you do need this cap all the time to protect the front element which is really expensive and also you get the back cap of course and this nice pouch or a bag also now you can attach it to your belt to carry this lens around and swap lenses on the go and overall it's a pretty nice bag and I love it and all the G Master lenses are coming with this bag. By the way, look at my hands, I can touch the lens itself from that far away. It's around, I don't know, 50 centimeters probably, maybe 70. The build quality is great. This lens is made out of plastic but it's a very high quality plastic and I give a thumbs up for it. Thumbs up. <laughs> this big thumbs up. Also, it doesn't come with a lens hood. The lens hood is kind of built in into the lens, so you don't bump your lens into something when you carry it around. And also it protects it from flaring a little bit, but we'll talk about flares in a second. Also, we have the aperture ring, which can be clicked for photos or declicked for video, so you can slowly adjust your brightness, your exposure changing the aperture slightly in video mode for instance and also it has a customizable button which is also great you can assign almost i don't know 10 or 15 functions to this button which is also nice and we have the focus ring which is acting pretty nicely and responsibly but i was using autofocus for like 99 percent of the time with this lens at the back we have a metal lens mount of course and we have a weather sealing gasket and this lens is dust and moisture resistant throughout the lens we have some gaskets to protect this lens. For such a fast lens f1.8 this lens is really small and compact. It weighs only 460 grams which is great and it's a very you know compact lens and it doesn't take a lot of space in your backpack. Speaking about filters, you can use a matte box in front of your lens with big and probably heavy filters and the whole setup will be much bulkier which is not very convenient. Also you can use some gel filters as I said but I don't know where to buy those actually and I didn't have those while shooting that's why I was using some shorter shutter speeds. It's a little bit inconvenient in my opinion and that's a small disappointment to me. The aperture range is from f1.8 to f16 and you do get very sharp picture quality from f1.8 but pretty average vignette performance. We can see that at f1.8 it's pretty dark in the corner of the shot and it disappears to around f4 or maybe f5.6 so keep that in mind. Let's talk about the distortion. As you might have noticed, the distortion is pretty intense towards the corners of the shot. So if you shoot people, please put them in the middle of the shot. And if you shoot architecture, be careful with it because sometimes the buildings are kind of leaning backwards. So be careful with that and do not put the buildings to the corners of your shot. If you know how to use an extremely wide angle lens, you know what I'm talking about. In terms of photo capabilities and stills, I cannot say a lot because I'm not a professional photographer, I'm a videographer and uh, as you can see on the examples, they are pretty sharp and pretty nice. So in terms of stills, I have no complaints. Let's talk about the low light performance because this lens is very fast f1.8 and you can use it for your low light photography and videography. As you saw from the shots from the cave, it is very dark there and I was using the ISO from 51200 to 102000 and as you can see it's a pretty clean image and this lens allows the light to come to the sensor and a lot of light basically. So it's a great opportunity for you to get some cool night shots as well. And probably it's a great lens for astrophotography but I wasn't able to shoot something because it was raining and cloudy all the time while I was using this this lens and I was renting this lens from a store and basically didn't have a chance to shoot any stars but I'm almost certain that this lens is a great choice for astrophotography as well. And now about the picture quality and the bokeh. 
You have great picture quality with this lens. It's very sharp, very detailed, and you get stunning pictures, stunning video with this lens, but it's pretty tough to get out of focus background. As you can see right now, I'm like 50 to 60 centimeters away from the lens. It's at f1.8 and probably if I do like so, the sound quality may be worse because the mic is right there, but you can see that now we have much blurrier background. So if you do need some uh, out of focus backgrounds and bokeh, you have to be closer to the subject. And uh, the quality of bokeh is very nice, very creamy and smooth, pretty round bokehs, and it has nine bladed aperture, which makes your bokeh look very nice. So no complaints about the bokeh and picture quality, great job Sony. The autofocus is also very nice. You can see my test, I was running towards from camera and backwards and trying to kind of mess up the autofocus, but it didn't. The IIF also works great and it's a pretty easy task for the autofocus motor because when you step around 3 meters away from this lens, almost everything is in focus. A lot of things are in focus. So yeah, it's a great autofocus lens and you will get 99% of the shots in focus, I'm sure. The focus breathing is average. As you can see, I closed down the aperture and I was trying to pull the focus from infinity to the minimal focus and distance and we do see some zooming in and zooming out of the picture while I'm doing it. But in real life, I would say it's not an issue and I didn't even notice the focus breathing in my shots and my footage. The minimal focus and distance is 25 centimeters, which is average and those types of lenses are not usually with a you know, crazy a close minimal focus and distance and you can get pretty close. It has 0.1x magnification, which is okay for this type of lens. And I doubt that someone is going to shoot a lot of macro with this type of lens as well. And now let's talk flares. I'm a little disappointed with the flares performance of this lens because when you have a bright source like a sun or I don't know, a light pole and you have your lens kind of um, at the side of the light source, you have a lot of flares. It's a pretty visible flare, kind of an, uh, you know, circular shape flare and it's pretty intense. So you have to be really careful with the bright sources of light and keep that in mind while shooting. I was not impressed with this flare performance of the Sony G Master 14mm f1.8. By the way, guys, I am almost certain that you saw this, uh, let me say, picture or kind of a installation of iPhone 5, which was disassembled. And I have a small giveaway on the previous video on my channel, so you can participate in it and win the first, the original iPhone and disassemble it yourself and make this kind of a picture at your home. So participate, guys. It's till 7th of January 2022. Good luck. And finally, guys, let's talk about the price. This lens costs $1,600, which is a lot in my opinion. And if you do know why you need this fast f1.8 lens and such a wide angle lens, it's worth it. But if you don't, probably Samyang f2.8 14mm lens is okay, or even 17 to 28 Tamron f2.8 lens is also going to be a nice choice for you. At least to me, I don't see a huge difference, and I would prefer a cheaper lens and more versatile lens over this one. But if you do know, it's okay. So, guys, please. Share your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you need this lens and how do you feel about it? And um, if you did like this video, smash the like and subscribe buttons as I say in my videos and hit the notifications bell. My name is Oleg Nikitin from Russia with Love, no limits on channel, and I see you guys in the next video. Take care, bye. <laughs> Such a wide angle. Such a wide angle, guys. Look at my biceps. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Why take care?